are getting on a boat going to the island of Marajo. I'm gonna get some buffalo, a specialty in this area. Okay, so we just got to a fisherman's village. And then... <laughs> and he throws the scraps to these birds. These huge birds here. Wow. Very different from home. getting on a boat going to the island of Marajo. This boat is very unique because it almost looks like an airplane on the inside and even a little bit from the outside. We're on a flight. We're basically in an enclosed speedboat and it's about a two and a half hour ride so I guess they make it comfortable. Wasn't expecting that. Buffalo roaming. Got a nice little headpiece. You see these buffalo all over the place. We have learned that the buffalo came to the island because of a shipwreck, so when the ship sunk, the buffalo came. have arrived at Hotel Casa Rao, which means big house in Portuguese. This property looks beautiful. Coconut trees. So we are near a fisherman's village and we are on the way to a beach called Praia de Pesquero. It is named that because they do a lot of fishing here. So this area that we are in has mostly salt water, but what's really interesting is it is a mix of fresh water and salt water. So you could go to a totally different part of the island of Marajo and it would be less salty, more salty, it just varies. So you get a mixture of salt water fish and fresh water fish mm -hmm. on this island, which is great if you like fish because you can have all <laughs> different kinds, all different tastes. You get it all. We're starting to see that uh, freshwater fish have kind of a different flavor than saltwater fish. Yeah. Uh, we've been having a lot of fish here in the Amazon area, so we're learning a lot about it. We're getting our first looks at this beach. It looks really pretty. There are a ton of straw huts. It looks like we're having lunch in these little straw umbrella kind of area on the beach. Oh, look at this little dog eating a Hi. coconut. Hey, here, doggy. Hi. Hey, hey, you want your coconut? Uh, oh, do you like this coconut? Coconut jungle. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yet again, this beach is different. So it looks like it'd be a more touristy beach with all these huts, but there is pretty much no one here. So it's really cool. And Alex has a favorite part of this beach. No. Not the dogs? No. I like that there is a single palm, just a lone palm right there. No other palm trees on the beach but that. That's so random. During the winter season, a lot of wind comes here and it blows the sand up into the mangroves and they have to actually manually take out the sand otherwise it could wreck the mangroves. It really messes with the animals that live there and that could be bad long term so they manually go in there and take it out. Very interesting, never heard that before, <laughs> manually moving a bunch of sand. Alright, let's go have our lunch, which will consist of coco gelato, a fish, dorado. I think the dorado, dorado, dorado fish, gold fish, 
And then I'm gonna get some buffalo. That is, I think, a specialty in this area. They have a lot of buffalo here. They make cheese, meat, all sorts of things. So. The cheese is so good, but we haven't had the meat yet. So this will be exciting. Special to this area of Madajal. We just had the first sip of our coconuts and wow. Best coconuts we've had yet, I think. There's a ton of flavor in there, very sweet, and they're cold. Like they're frozen. This feels like a popsicle. Yeah, I see actual ice forming around the opening of the coconut. That's how we like it, ice mm. cold. It just started storming, so everybody's running in. Look at this sky. Ooh. So I guess our little huts aren't enough anymore. They know what to do here. We would have just stayed there. Okay, here's my meal. This is buffalo meat with a cheese from this area, I presume and some fries, we have some peppers and onions, kind of caramelized there, some rice, and a little bit of salad. And we have some beans, farofa, and this is a fish, also with the local cheese. Every fish you get here is so delicious. It's fresh. I typically like it fried, like this one is. Mmm. Brazil is the place to get fish. very red bird and it is the guara bird. Let's go take a look. I had to go out of the van to see this. That is one of the craziest colored birds I've ever seen. <laughs> very cool. Okay, so we just got to a fisherman's village and there's a man over here with, it looks like a saxophone or something like that, can't really see it. And th their houses are beautiful, they're very colorful, and it makes this place have a lot of character. The houses are built up on stilts for when it rains, it's right by the ocean, so... Uh, we like meeting locals, so we're actually gonna go say hi to this guy and see if he'll play a little something for us. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what they're saying, but they like it. They're laughing, so that's good. He only played saxophone after uh, 10 a.m. <laughs> and the lady said he doesn't play at 10 a.m., he doesn't play at 9 a.m., he doesn't play it at all. <laughs> but he has it setting out. Yeah. I guess he likes the instrument. His wife was making fun of him, saying he never plays anything, so we didn't know if we were going to hear anything, but luckily he's going to right now. That's beautiful. Again. Baby buffalo. He's driving through the middle of the town and you see him all right here. Buffalo like that are actually owned by people, but they let them roam around town just eating and doing what they please. 
but then by 6 o'clock at night, the owner has to go and find them. They might not know where they are, but they have an idea. They find them and they take them home. If they don't bring them home by 6 p.m., they can actually get a really big fine because it's dangerous to have them roaming around at night. Cars cannot see them because they're black and they blend in with the night, so. Makes sense. On the island of Marajol. There are 16 cities in Marajol, and this is one of them, and one famous market here. So if you buy a fish and you want it cooked a certain way, this guy will fillet it, he'll cut it certain ways depending on what you want. So he'll bring it out here to this wooden bench here and then <laughs> and he throws the scraps to these birds these huge birds here and the cats are just hanging out there too you can see all these cats waiting for the fish around here are these bad pieces or good pieces <laughs> <laughs> wow. And this is a part of the fish market. Like we said in another video, fish is very popular in this state. It seems like they eat a lot more fish than they do other meats. A lot more than they eat pork or beef or anything like that. They eat a lot of fish here. Seafood. These food stands that you see here open at 4 a.m. I don't know who wakes up that early. Maybe the farmers around here do. And then they close at night. So you can't come here for dinner or anything. Guess you gotta come early. Early bird gets the worm. It seems like when it comes to fishermen and the fish market, wherever you are, they start extremely early. They have to start working at 3 or 4 in the morning, so it's probably just wherever you have fishermen, you start early, you end early. Okay, so we're leaving the market now, but interesting fact, here, or in these small towns around here, people, if they don't have enough money, they can trade with animals. And sometimes they also get gifts, uh, animals as gifts, like for a birthday or something like a that. Live a pig, animal. a chicken. Very different from home. As you guys know, we put out videos on YouTube, we put out as much content as we can, but we can't put out everything on YouTube. We also have shorter video clips and photos that we can't put here. So if you want to see more, follow us on Instagram, Lindsay Travel Bum and Alexander Travel Bum. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, click one of these and subscribe right here because we're traveling all around the world and we're sharing the whole thing with you.